And now it's time for another booze and news clip. We're gonna we're gonna leave on this note a little a little more positive booze news. I got some booze news for us that we're gonna talk about. So um, we're gonna talk about uh, this this new uh, product, and I want to just gauge you here and see what you think about it, and if if, if you would buy it. Um, Miller Light infused charcoal might be ne the next big thing for beer and barbecue. Uh, with Memorial Day celebrations kicking off this weekend, summer is officially here, and with it comes the return of barbecue grilling on the backyard. We can't think of many things to pair better with barbecue than beer. And it turns out Miller Lite agrees with us. The brand has announced their release of Miller Lite Beer Coal, which is charcoal infused with Miller Lite intended to turn uh, Miller time into griller time. That's a great slogan, griller time. All right, what do you think? What thoughts? On, on the beer charcoal? Beer charcoal. I mean, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what flavor. In the middle, I don't know how. What is infu infused? Yeah. Uh, I, what what I does that have, mean? When I was when I was living in L, when I was living in L A to stretch my money and kind of make good food mm -hmm. that I would eat. Um, but that I could keep in the fridge for a while. I would I would smoke meat for a long time. That was my thing. And I would always go to the liquor store because they had like liquor stores out there, like convenience stores. And they oh, always yeah. had like some people. even when COVID hit, like and everybody was hoarding toilet paper. The liquor store always had toilet paper. Sure. So also life I mean, hack, real quick before you, uh, if you ever need toilet paper and 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 you can't get it at the grocery store because a bunch of stupid idiots have hoarded it. Um, businesses have it. You know what? I used to, I, when I was really poor, just because you were speaking about being poor, when I was really poor in college and I needed toilet paper, I'm not going to not go without toilet paper. I found ways to get toilet paper. You know what I'm saying? Huh. <laughs> yeah. Go to a fucking, go to, go to any restaurant and just, mm -hmm. you know. But, uh, man, I, I missed that little corner when I was, like, living in L.A. I had, like, no money. But there was always, like, a really nice, there was, like, a, like, a, supernaturally nice guy at the liquor store and they didn't have any bulletproof glass so we had to be super nice all the time mm -hmm. and uh i met some characters there that was that was that's a good place it was good to go after you like were already kind of drunk yeah you, you, no the like, you know. the bodega i mean it's a thing in california i don't think people get it down here but like in san francisco i got to know the people that worked at the at the store because i go buy beer and i go buy liquor or whatever right i, I didn't never went to like a liquor store really there was a place called total wine every now and then if I wanted something fancy, but I would just go to the bodega, the corner store, get get a fifth or whatever, some beer, and um, yeah, you get to know them, you get to know the people, like the people hang out there. Um, there's yeah. food, like they usually they usually have sandwiches and shit there too. There was a guy who I'm I'm like eighty percent sure just stole cars, mm -hmm. like stole motorcycles, because he'd always be there, like, hey, I got this new motorcycle, do you want to buy it? Right. And I was like, no, you know, I like. You know, I would well, not because, you know, any moral reason. I just he didn't happen to have anything I wanted to buy. And uh, yeah, that was cool. He was always there at like 9 a.m. at the liquor store. I always go there before I went to the laundromat because mm -hmm. it was like right where I get scratch, right, right, scratch right. tickets. And yeah. But uh, I, was, I, was, I can't I was, believe you I bought scratchers. That's hilarious. It's right. such a ripoff. Um, well, what do you think I, about this? What do you think about what do you, what do you think about this? What do you think about? Uh, I don't know. I barbecue a lot. I barbecue probably once a week. I used to have a cheap little Weber grill that I used coals in. Now I mostly just use propane. Or or if I do use uh, or if I do, it's just so easy to use propane, dude. It gets hot instantly. No, well, charcoal adds flavor it, to the it, to the food. It the does. You smoke. It does. I agree. But you it, might as well paint or something if you're gonna fucking propane grill it like in, uh, there's nothing to it um Char look look to your point yes charcoal adds the smoke to it which is like the whole part really of barbecue right and as, it's blasphemous to say anything else really as a texan but propane is fucking fast is my point and there's certain things i can do on there real quick but um like if i want to do like a like a like a, like a, like a, a spatchcock a chicken you know, quickly or something, right? But anyway, um, but I also have a smoker that I use. When and that's mostly what I'll use, and I don't even use like this kind of charcoal. I use wood, wood chips, or the lump charcoal, which is like wood, right? 
I just yeah, well, charcoal don't. Is what? Right. I just don't think that like this beer charcoal is gonna work like worth a shit or be. I don't even give you any beer flavor. Like I, I if, if, if they, like what would they do when they say infused? Are they just pouring fucking Miller Lite into the charcoal and then like letting it dry up and then giving it to you? I imagine there's some kind of ec- like extract. I don't know what what flavor it could possibly add if you're burning it. I mean, I, I don't. Well, beer flavor is a thing, it. but I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy like five you're gonna, things. You're gonna review it. Buy it and review it. I'm curious. I'm, I might do it too, just because. But I, 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 I really like the bag. I really, but you know, I'm, a, I'm actually a fan of Miller Lite, as, 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 as advertised right here. But I, I, I really like the bag. I, I, I think it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's got a good marketing campaign. But honestly, I believe it's probably bullshit. Um, oh, yeah. Because I don't think, like, I believe in beer flavor, like. Whenever I boil, have you ever boiled hot dogs or like sausages in beer? No, it's fucking awesome. Instead of instead of water, so like you boil it in beer, and then you hit the grill with it. It's amazing. It just gives it like an extra kind of like yeah. It really does infuse the flavor a little bit. But like we'll do that uh, on Winnie the Pooh night. We'll do that. We'll have you uh, boil some hot dogs. Cook in some beer. more hot dogs. I'm down. I am fucking down, dude. Thanks for watching. Follow Booze and News on Twitch. We live stream Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button. Subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when we put up new content. Cheers.